Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the Razer Naga and everything that it comes with. And uh, you guys have already seen the physical characteristics in one of my previous videos. This is going to be a preview of the uh, drivers that it has. So right now what you can see on your screen is where you can buy it from. So this is $79.99 from uh, Razer, which is RazorZone.com. You can go down to Future Shop or Best Buy or whatever and spend about $100 on it, but honestly, I find that this works too. So this comes with everything that I also showed you in my previous video. It comes with the trainer pack with everything like that. Alright, so now for the drivers. So what you're going to want to do is go to Support drivers, software, and manuals, and just follow that guide. All the way down through Razer Mice down to Razer Naga. The video description will have this link which will bring you right to this area. So you're going to want to download the Razer Naga driver for version 3.0. You're going to, uh, they have a add-on that you can download for World of Warcraft and they also have one down here for Warhammer. Um, when I first got the Razer Naga, I used this one. It's good for beginners. I prefer now to use the um, Bartender 4 add-on, but either or. You're also going to want to download uh, the Razer Naga firmware. This is just going to update your mouse and do all that. Alright, so now getting more into this. So right now you have a top view which has all of your keybinds. You can change these. Right now my uh, my middle mouse button is set to Alt. I purposely did that um, so that not only is 1 to 12 1 to 12 on my hotbar, but as soon as I hold down the middle mouse button, it'll open up 1 to 12 to 12 new spells. All right. So here's the thumb view. So now I'm going to go into macros. This is where you can edit everything. Right now they have no, um, a delay. So I'll just show you guys. This is going to be test one. So when I hit record, it'll have a one second. It'll have the delay from when you click down the button and released it, and then when you click the next one. So I'm just going to delete this macro altogether because that's not what we want. All right. So now I'm going to set up a new one. Now I'm going to hit ignore delay between events. This is going to make it so that everything at one moment will go off. And so right now I'm just going to hit record. I'm going to hold down what my cooldowns are. Your cooldowns can be different, whatever. But these are all my cooldowns. So Alt 9, 9, and 8. So these are all my cooldowns. I accidentally hit Alt here, but I'll just delete these. Alright, so that's all my cooldowns. So now I'm just going to go over to the assist, I mean to the uh, assign buttons. Now I'm just going to move this up so it doesn't get down into the bottom of my screen, but I'm going to use the macro test one. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm just going to minimize this, uh, hit apply, OK, and I'm going to boot up World of Warcraft. And now I'm going to go to in-game, and I will see you guys there. So, yeah. Alright guys, so here we have me in-game. Sorry for the lag, it's just I haven't gotten another hard drive to record this on, but... Alright, so right now here's my beautiful Orc Warrior. So, I'm going to show you guys how I set my macro up. So, let me just get some rage here. And these three keys are going to be what I have. I don't know if I linked it to this one, but you'll see the cooldown anyways. Alright, so here it is. So now I got my rage. And 
now I'm also going there will also be just a brief little thing up here showing up in the top left showing my actual hand so as you can see I'm just going to hit 12 so there it goes one two and there's nothing to attack that was supposed to be pummel so I accidentally put nine and start instead of alt eight so I can go back and edit that but I'm too lazy to so anyways so it did cast three spells at once um you can do this with any button you want to and anything else so um if you guys can just please rate comment and subscribe and if there's something that you didn't like about this video please put it in the description just so i know that way i can work on it and try to get everything and just try to get it to a better game i mean to a better youtube video for my viewers so yeah thanks guys and uh... i'll be making more videos and just give me some ideas in the comments down below thanks have a good day